Good morning, future self. Welcome to Thursday in Brooklyn. It is the rest day. I did the workshop last night and it went pretty well. I didn't record any of it because it's a whirlwind. We had. Um, but like prepping for that and running the workshop and everything were like a lot of work. But I did um, three different exercises and one of them was this collaged reading exercise where we take two texts and read them one paragraph each back and forth um, going around the circle. And it worked pretty well. I think it was a good sort of like conversation instigator and a sort of activity we could go back to when the conversation lulled to get sort of more information and stuff. Um, the collaged aspect is really like a, it gets you out of your prediction loop. Uh, it's sort of like it's, it's more, un it, it makes the text more unexpected and I feel like makes me pay more attention to it. And then just reading the text sort of like continuously from one book. Um, so yeah, I, I liked that I would I would try that again. Uh, the second exercise was, or I guess <laughs> another, the one we did first was during the intro, people were like, you know, taking their coats off and like settling in, telling you your name and like why they were coming to the circle or the, yeah. And um, I had up a valence and activation diagram, the vertical axis being uh, how energized, how activated you feel, and right to left being how pleasant or unpleasant you feel. Um, so, I had everyone sort of put a sticker on the on the diagram to indicate where they were. And stickers are all anonymous, but sort of the general uh, state of the group is public. And then I also had people do that at the very end, like as we were, um, as we were leaving and everyone do it again. And it was interesting to see sort of the movement of the group. Some people, you know, like there, there was, um, the data points actually got less concentrated. Some people got like much more energized. Some people got like more uncomfortable as they got hungrier. Um, we had one dot move from, you know, sort of more, much more unpleasant to more pleasant. Um, so it was just interesting to sort of see the effect of this group activity, how that, how that, how just basically what, what the effect had on our like, um, internal state like the activation and valence state um i like that a lot and then um the third activity was um can i even remember my own activities oh okay so it was a it was a an emotional labeling activity but uh, on another person so we had half the group stand up and do a wiggle dance and sort of just like move around and not play act their feelings, but just sort of like move in a way that they felt comfortable with. And then the other half of the group sort of wrote labels of like what they think that they were seeing in the people in front of them, sort of like what words they would use for emotion labeling and sort of what how the, mo the movements were sort of kind of trying to dictate um, the the was it a stereotype? Was it, was someone being playful because they were nervous or were they being playful because, um, they were feeling like joy, uh, for example. So we had people sort of trying to do labeling and then, you know, we switched and the other, you know, both halves of the group got to do the wiggle dance and got to do the labeling thing. And that too sort of like breaks up the energy flow. So, um, people had to like get up and move around. And then, uh, we sort of talked about the experience of, labeling not so much the experience of doing the motion but we talked about the experience of like what is it like to be the person who's responsible for like looking at this person and um making a label for what they're doing and sort of how that judgment layer 
that goes into the data, uh, changes what the data is, and sort of, like, how does your current internal state um, dictate what these other people are doing? Like, I definitely felt like I was projecting my emotions onto this other person. And so, like, the exercises were um, an attempt to... um, just sort of play with alternative ways of understanding AI, understanding data, understanding how data is collected, like um, just ch- trying to change some perspectives in a in a way that is uh, that I hadn't seen explored before, basically. Um, so this is the first one of these workshops. There's going to be like a few more, but I won't actually be here for the rest of them. Oh, sleepy person. So. We'll see how the rest of them go. I'll write a blog post up at the end about sort of what I've learned about the the activities, but today is rest flop day. I'm so tired. <laughs> uh, part of me really wants to like go to the library and write and stuff and hang out, but I think I'm just gonna have to sit in this bed. Maybe. Maybe if I'm lucky, some blog post writing will get done. But, yeah. Bye, future.